Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow. Today, we're gonna to talk about how doggy daycare can benefit your dog. Click thumbs up if you are excited that we've got Sawyer, the French Bulldog, back with us today. Subscribe to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. Anytime you have a dog training question, just check out the index. It'll point you in the right direction. In a moment, we're gonna head down to Central Park Doggy Daycare and see how Sawyer does with some other dogs. But of course, you never wanna send your dog to doggy daycare hangry. And don't be in a position of having to feed your dog whatever food you can find when it's late at night and you're out of dog food. Just go to PetFlow, choose your favorite high quality brand of dog food and how often you want it to be delivered. You can tweak your delivery schedule at any time for any reason. I'll have a link and a coupon code in the description that'll give you 20% off of your first auto ship order. Doggy daycare can be great if you have a busy life or your dog needs some socialization with other dogs. Of course, doggy daycares aren't for all dogs, but if you think your dog might be a good candidate, let's cover a few things first. The whole idea of taking your dog to a doggy daycare is to make sure they're having a great time and having an overall quality experience. Avoid taking your dog to a daycare that subscribes to outdated training methods, for example, like using choke prong or electric collars. Most doggy daycares will offer you a tour of the facility so that you can get an idea of what a typical day might be like for your dog. Now, if they don't do that, they're probably not the place for you. During playtime at most doggy daycares, they'll separate dogs based on their size or their energy level. And since they really get to know the dogs, they'll put your dog in the more ideal group. As always, it's a great idea to exercise your dog just before putting them in a highly exciting situation like being around a bunch of happy dogs. All right, let's go see how Sawyer does at Central Bark. Come on, buddy. Most daycares will have a trial day and do a behavior assessment with a few dogs that are dog friendly and have a great temperament. That's what we're gonna do with Sawyer today. Angie, the manager and dog trainer here at Central Bark Doggy Daycare in New Orleans has chosen a few dogs for us to introduce Sawyer to. So we're gonna see how he does with them. Hey Angie, how's it going today? Hi, good, how are you guys doing? Awesome, this is Sawyer the French Bulldog I was telling you about. Hi, hi Sawyer, hi. <laughs> Angie, what do you look for when you're trying to find if a dog is a good fit for the doggy daycare here? Yeah, so there's not real one thing that we really look for, but I guess the top three words I would choose are first, non-reactive, two, confident, and three, comfortable. And we just want them to be happy here. Do you have any particular dogs in mind for Sawyer to meet today? Yeah, we got a good group today and I have a few in mind. So as we walked back here, I noticed he heard the dogs barking. He got a little nervous immediately, mm -hmm. which is normal, I would think, for dogs that aren't yeah. socialized. So we want to proceed very cautiously, obviously, yeah, to give him a, a good experience. It might have been tempting to just try and rush him through that situation, but it's much better to go slow, play it safe, in order to avoid creating a host of issues right. later on. Having the dogs interact through the fence is a great idea. Who's this dog? This is Grigri. Grigri? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Grigri's doing really well. And look at Sawyer. This way you can safely introduce the two dogs by having them greet each other through the fence. Yeah. I feel comfortable in letting them interact now. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, no, let's do it. Hey. Alicia's gonna come in too. And see, he's getting a little bossy there, but he's <laughs> reacting well. Obviously, Sawyer being a puppy only five months old, he's one of the very playful puppies. Yeah. And I gotta say, Grigri's being very tolerant because you know how obnoxious puppies can be right. sometimes. You can see Grigri's hair starting to stand up a little bit, getting a little annoyed with Sawyer, as many dogs do. do. Uh, so I wanted to just kind of intervene, give them a moment to yeah. settle down a little bit. All right, so we're bringing in a puppy now, a Basset Hound puppy? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh gosh, this is gonna be the cutest <laughs> thing ever. And he's closer to Sawyer's age, around yes. six months, you said? Yeah. And oh you can see goodness. Sawyer's just ready to- Good boy. Burst into play and they're gonna sniff each other, all very normal behavior. Now his hair's standing up a little bit. Elvis! But that's not necessarily a bad thing. That just means they're a little unsure. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And since uh -uh. right there he's trying to mount, we wanna discourage that type of behavior too much, but a little bit of it is pretty normal and it's okay. Good boy. And so Elvis is getting a little annoyed right here, saying, hey, back off, you're kind of an annoying puppy here, but it's just communication. So, I mean, I feel okay about that, but Although, all right, all right, all yeah. right. You can see this is why it's a really good idea to exercise a dog before having them be in an exciting situation. The way we get good results here is by letting them play very naturally under very supervised conditions, just like this. And see, there's never a, a way to know definitely how a dog is going to behave with another dog. That's why you always want to supervise, you always want to be cautious, but by taking some common sense measures like this, you can increase the likelihood that things are gonna go well. Agree? Yeah, definitely. I mean, all right. and see, all that's right. all very normal right there. Sawyer, you're doing a great job, buddy. 
So are you, oh, Elvis. Boy, Elvis. Oh, oh, he's so sleepy. <laughs> this is Bentley, Mission. another black lab. Yeah. But he's a little bit more hyper yes. than Grigri. Yes. Gotcha. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see how this goes. And you can see, I mean, Sawyer's getting a workout right here. And this all helps to get their energy out. And while you don't want to rely on dogs playing with each other to be primary exercise, playing with other dogs is a great way to encourage supplementary exercise. Bentley is being in incredibly tolerant of this puppy. It's a fine line between letting dogs really interact and have that natural communication and letting them go too far. So you do have to feel that out with your individual dog. So this is all going really well so far. I'm really encouraged by how Sawyer is behaving. The other dogs are doing wonderfully. I think Sawyer's at the point where we can now phase in a small group of dogs. A lot of good, healthy body language going on here from the dogs. They're sniffing each other. They're playing with each other. They're behaving normally with one another. <laughs> The dogs are reacting really well to Sawyer too, because he's a he's a bit overbearing at moments, but overall they're doing really well together. So Sawyer's getting real worked up here, gravitating to Bentley, but Bentley's doing great. But he's still, you know, he's not going over the top. He's behaving appropriately, I'd say. Okay. All right, all right. Why you gotta be so crazy? So right there, I went up to Sawyer in an attempt to let him know I wasn't gonna have that hyperactive behavior because he was annoying Bentley a little too much and he automatically just dialed it back a minute because he's already learning from these experiences. Plus, dogs that are getting their energy out like this are so much more likely to listen to you. Get up here, oh, you're doing so well. So what do you do if your dog is not an ideal candidate for doggy daycare? Well. In general, I'd recommend that you check out reputable dog walkers in your area. Also consider getting up a little early so you can get their energy out and they can feel a little bit more content as you leave for the day. But Sawyer, I think you are perfect for doggy daycare. Click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. I'll have a link in the description. And don't forget to set up automatic pet food delivery at Petflow. We'll see you in the next video.